2020 domestic football season is about to come to a close. But fear not, football lovers, as the international game is about to crack up a notch with the return of the UEFA Nations League. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. Today, we're taking a look at Group C Section 3 over in the Nations League. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep me bang up to date. With all things Nations League related, Black and Rovers related, woo, football related. That's right, boys. Under one, Ruski, of course. The likes of Moldova, Kosovo, Slovenia and Greece locking horns in this group. And we'll get to that in a second. Of course, before then, I want a big shout out, oh yeah, to the Patreon gang. You know who you are for supporting in the channel in the way that they you do of course I much appreciated your support it puts a smile on my face gets me up in the morning drives me to make more videos just like this now if you want to join that VIP exclusive family of patreons there is a link down below in the old description patreon.com forward slash overseas check it out if you want to uh, throw your throw your name in the hat become a part a part of the forever loving family that is overseas patrons check it out until then though let's get into the thicker things and take a look at this group it is Group uh, C, Section 3. How do you like that? Where am I? I've got to get in the middle. Get me in the middle. <gasps> there we go. Uh, I'm here in the middle, of course. Let's take a look at the nations then. We already mentioned them. They are Kosovo. Oh, yeah. Managed by Bernard Chandlez. Still in with an outside shot to make the Euros, uh, of the postponed Euros, of course, the, the old COVID stuff. Uh, they play the football at the Vadil Voltri Stadium. They're captain by uh, Armia Ramarini, who is the most capped player with 29 uh, games to his name. The top goal scorer is Velat Murikiki. He's got eight goals to his name. They are, of, of course, a, a squeaky clean, or respectively squeaky clean, new country. Uh, they are currently ranked 115th in the world. Their highest ever was 114th back in 2019. Their lowest rank was 190 back in 2016. But again, they're newly formed, or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I expect them to be on the rise over the next few years and be at least this level if not better uh, over the next and they are joined by Slovenia of course they are managed by Matsik Ketch they play the football in various stadiums across the country of Slovenia captained by Borjan Jocic uh, the most capped player is Bosjan Cesar with 101 games the top goal scorer is Zlato Sahovic 35 goals to his name they currently rank 64th in the world uh, the highest ever ranking was 15 in 2010 their lowest point uh, was in uh, 1993 with their 134th again just like a lot of these Eastern Bloc countries they are broken away from Russia to form their own uh, country and uh, and this is where they are right now uh, of course the the world of football is forever grateful that they have so many countries to make up such a tasty looking uh, uh, confederation that is UEFA got out of that one nicely didn't I uh, Moldova are joined in this group as well uh, they are managed by Egning Ferret uh, they play their football at the Simbru Stadium uh, captained by Alexander Emperonu uh, the most capped player is Alexander Emperonu with 91 games top goal scorer is Sergei Seleshenko with 11 goals uh, currently ranked 175th uh, in the world. The uh, highest ranking was 37th back in 2008. Uh, I remember that they qualified for the Euros. Uh, the lowest point was 175th in 2020. So right now, this is the they can't they, they gotta go better. It can't go much worse than this. Uh, they are joined by Greece, of course, uh, coached by John John Van Schip. Uh, they play their football uh, at the Olympic Stadium of Athens. They're captain by Kostas Stalifadis. Uh, the most capped player is Georgios Karagonis with 139 games. Uh, top goal scorer is Nikos Anstantpalopoulos with 29 goals. And they're currently ranked 54th in the world. Their highest rank was 8th in 2011. Their lowest rank was 66th in 1998. I don't know why they're in this flipping division. I just don't get it. I think they, you know, maybe they've just gone through a, a, a shit generation. Um, but they don't need to be here scrapping with the likes of Moldova. Goodness gracious me. No disrespect to Moldova. But Greece are former Euro winners, boys. They're former Euro winners. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it and take a look at the games then, shall we? Here you go, folks. The games that will take place in Group C, Section 3. Now, we're going to go plough through these one by one. And of course, uh, you know, quick draw McGraw sort of, sort of stuff. Uh, just give you my verdict and all that kind of We're not going to look into the detail, the finer details of this. We're just going to see who I think will win. And then, of course, do the 4-3-2-1. Who will get promoted to the Nations League B? And, of course, who will go really, really into the shit zone? That is relegation into League D, which you just don't want to go there, boys. You just don't want to go. 
So these games will start off, of course, on the 3rd of September. We're going to open up with Moldova against Kosovo. And Kosovo will open up with a big fat 2-1 win over, over Moldova away from home. A nice, fantastic start for Kosovo, you would think. Uh, alongside them on the same match day, it'll be a tight one between Slovenia and Greece. I think it's a 2-2 draw in the end. It is the second match day, just a couple of days later. On the 6th of September, Slovenia will take on Moldova. And they will also uh, continue their unbeaten start with a 1-0 win over Moldova. That's right. Tight as you like. Kosovo will then take on Greece. Monstrous game. This one could uh, d d really decide the fact uh, who will be top of the pops. I'm going to go with a 3-1 win for Kosovo on this on the same day, 6th of, the, of September as well, to make it back-to-back -back wins for, for Kosovo with first defeat on the books for Greece. As it stands, Moldova have got it all to do. Uh, as we reach the halfway mark, Greece will take on Moldova on the 11th of October. Anyway, a 2 0 win for Greece to get themselves uh, back into it. The first win of the campaign for them. Meanwhile, Kosovo will take on Slovenia over in Kosovo. And again, uh, three wins on the spin for Kosovo, looking tidy as it stands. So the halfway mark, Kosovo 100% record, Moldova 100% defeats. Goodness gracious me, they're looking over their shoulders already. Uh, next up, we have Greece taking on Kosovo, of course. Um, for me, I'd say these two two two, two nations are going to be duking out for top honours. Um, and, of course, they've already played uh, once already, and it was a 3-1 win for Kosovo. This time, it'll go in favour of Greece. 2 to win in the end over in Athens uh, to get Greece right back in the conversation to make it their second win of the campaign. First defeat for Kosovo, and you never know. It could open up a can of worms for the rest. Uh, meanwhile, Moldova taking on Slovenia, and again, Moldova just can't get a win. They, they, as I said, they're 175th in the world. They are free-falling down their FIFA rankings, and they need something to change. Uh, but it won't get to happen in the Nations League. I can tell you that now. Slovenia with a victory, 1-0 win in the end. Uh, next up, Moldova taking on Greece and they also uh, lose this one this one's on the uh, 15th of November the penultimate game for Moldova and they already look doomed at the moment uh, just the one goal zero wins for them zero points it looks like and Slovenia taking on Kosovo and it'll be a 1-1 draw it looks like Kosovo's back end of this looking uh, falling apart uh, two games without a win for them now as Slovenia get themselves a point uh, to get them right back in the discussion as well into the final match day will be Greece up against Slovenia must must win a game for both of these two sides if they're going to get themselves top honours and Greece will be in that conversation with a 3-1 win over Slovenia to give themselves a right good chance to get top honours. Meanwhile, Kosovo taking on Moldova and it should be nailed on home win and it is 2-0 win for Kosovo for me. That's my Pregaroonies four match for these bad boys, Nations League C, Group 3. But those results, what do they translate to in the old top four? Let's have a look at it. And then fourth place will be, of course, Moldova. Absolute shit show. Six defeats out of six. Negative nine goal difference. Zero points on the board. Not really bothered. They're going to go to the shit zone, of course. Nations League D. Uh, staying in this division will be Slovenia with uh, two wins, two draws and two defeats. Eight points on the board for them. Uh, it's good, but it's not good enough, unfortunately. Uh, they have been ousted by Greece, of course. Uh, three wins, two draws and one defeat. Uh, plus four goal difference. Eleven points on the board. Unfortunately, they were ousted by Kosovo, who yet to taste defeat four wins two draws 14 points on the board three points better off than their nearest and dearest Greece that is what I think is going to happen in group C section three do you agree with my group C section three get in your prediction zone and tell me what you think about this group and of course uh, give this video some love smash the old thumbs up smash your subscribe of course and of course uh, check out the description links to my other social media platforms of course Twitter uh, I'm in there very vocal on there smash the old follow smash the old follow on Twitch check the, uh, the Facebook out and of course if you want to support the channel in another way where to go? Patreon, that's right. Check that out. Patreon.com forward slash Rover Seas, of course. Um, but yes, that is Nations League Group C, or Group Section 3, wrapped up in a dicky bow. Tomorrow, we're going to wrap up Group C with Group 4, with the likes of Belarus, Albania, Kazakhstan, and Lithuania locking horns in that group. Who's going to come out on top on that one? Well, you're going to have to wait 24 hours to find out. But until then, though, give this video some love. Smash the thumbs up. Smash the subscribe. And of course, check out the description for more details on this guy and everything else until then though i'm out thanks again for watching please like share and most importantly hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things blackburn rovers related championship related football related we've got it all covered right under one roof and while i still have you please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here i hope <laughs>